Jackie Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds among heavyweights between these two great warriors. He's making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. He's ring walk. He just exudes confidence, carrying himself like a champion. time to fight many may believe that in a matchup like this power puncher versus power puncher that he who has more power wins but in a way is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? yes absolutely he who has a missile to get that bomb to the target he's gonna win protecting his head well with his guard Turn to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Stay away from the inside. right back with some offense of his own. There's that proficient jab by bad intentions. And in round number one, you already get the sense that they have... Oh, and there you go. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. And yet another jab lands. Get it up, get it up. Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country, all over the world. Where are they coming from? Well, Joe, I'll tell you where they're not coming from. They're not coming from football anymore. In the old on, days, guys, the big on, guys, get, get, instead of going on the football field, somebody would look to make them into the next heavyweight champ. But now they're going to college, they're going to places where they find it a little bit of an easier travel. And we're losing a lot of those athletes. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab called by the straight. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Good counter punch. So here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. 
Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Not able to land the headshot. Right hand over the top. He counters back after denying his opponent's shot. Good work with the combination, putting his punches together, and it's paying off. Yeah, it is paying off. You know, the first couple didn't get there, but he caught him on the back end. Good block there by Dynamite. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Halfway through round number two. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. After it, here comes another punch. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Double jab by Dynamite. Locks that punch. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late that worked out really well throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that Punch combo by Bad Intentions. Bad Intentions' his ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the first two punches, they set up the third and fourth. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Able to land, good shot again. Bad intentions, his strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to create him out with an A here. Maybe even an A-plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A-plus. Dynamite's got to cut around his eye, and that can be a real danger spot threatening the outcome of this fight. 
took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Able to dismiss it. Last ten seconds. We come to the end of the round. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the Cutman obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great Cutman? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you got to be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it. Get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's gonna get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. Swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down, you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Protecting his head well with his guard. Looking counter punch. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the fourth. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that Help us do what we do. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. Well, he knew it was a smart strategy to stay on the outside. He probably didn't know it was going to pay off this well because he's just getting to his guy. He's oh, yeah, if he was in the casino, I'm telling you, it's all coming up Chevy's for him. But right now, if his opponent has any shot to hit that jackpot, he needs to move that head, move those feet, get inside. 
This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Bad Intentions is doing a good job of just creating some space there, just pushing off. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. A shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. A good block. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Final 10 seconds. Block there by bad intentions. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. a showman right there, a pure showman. Showing you some defense there with the block. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Mark the counter punch by Dynamite. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. Joe, this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. Being smart on the outside. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful.
10 seconds remaining in this round. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. Teddy, so much work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. No, this guy doesn't move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Precise at all by bad intentions. Bad intentions has chosen a path here where he will not stand toe to toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is he's using those feet, he's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he takes it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. round great stuff from these two that was a miss by bad intentions bad intentions is in control of this fight teddy sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day he's ahead on the scorecards yeah i have my head on my scorecard too but right now he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous he has to still stay on his piece of cues time to reflect here at the end of this round my thoughts being this i would really be surprised if we go to a decision here it just has that kind of feel to it yeah it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price you know and some guys get carried away they eat about five bowls well these guys they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end now that's some fine work right there by dynamite He's bleeding from the side of his face there. Doing well on the outside. Wow, great action right from the start. Hey, I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. <laughs> nice block by bad intentions. 
Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there. He let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. This is really good work here. Kind of like a boxing 101, and it's paying off. He's popping off that jab. He's staying at a safe, longer range here. And he's controlling this fight. There it is! Dynamite's in bad shape. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on no, the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he'd love to run away. <laughs> he'd love to get away from what's hurting him. His legs are not solid enough, so he's going to have to find a way to tie up. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. And it's a left hand. Blocks it away. Very nice job landing that counter punch. Getting away from one that was coming at him. Just good, precise, precision punching by our man here. Yeah, everything in the place that it needs to be. Dynamite's got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Exchange, he fires back. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Oh, very nice. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Looking counter punch. Dynamite swelling is starting to become a real issue. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins. Great endurance, great heart. You come to this fight. You stay right here. We come to the end of the round. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the cut man obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cut man? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants. 
to stop that. Usually avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you gotta be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's gonna get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. If I'm his opponent, I look at that eye and I say, that's the magic button. Keep going right there, touch it, touch it, touch it, and we can get a stoppage here. Well, you're not wrong, but also it could work the other way to your detriment. You could be looking for that spot so much that now you're throwing one punch at a time. You're looking just for that. You're not doing the other things. You're not using the jab to set it up. You're not going to the body, and maybe you actually allow your opponent to survive longer because he could see that one shot coming. He could avoid that one shot. That's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good block by bad intentions. There it is! Look at that! The hook came home with ease. learning a real hard lesson here and it's that a corner man can only do so much when you're dealing with this amount of swelling around the eye yeah you have that end swell in the corner of course it's a piece of metal that you put in ice it gets very cold it retains the cold and you place it on the swelling but once it gets started as you alluded to Joe it's tough to stop it you got to get that ice or get that end swell on it early on before that swelling gets started before it gets to this kind of place there he is, working the body. Fine looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. this round Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you it gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing you know it's interesting we had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say hey I know you learned everything from the legendary custom auto the great trainer and he said to you what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus what did you say to him well it wasn't a paycheck I'll tell you that much <laughs> because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that he said you're going to college you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Cuz uh, believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that. Wow! He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but no, now he's the busier man. Yeah, he's aware that he has to be. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect.
go. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Come on, work it out. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? And still accurate with that jab. There it is! Dynamite's in a bad spot right now. He's been... He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. the win by way of knockout he put his man down and the 10 count was administered he's your winner by knockout i feel like i just read a book you know i know a little bit more about this guy now for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore thanks for being with us ringside